<laughs> have you ever fallen while mountain biking? Have you ever hit your head? More to the point, after falling, have you ever been disoriented, had blurred vision, experienced poor balance, had a headache, heard ringing in your ears? Or have you tried to get up and tumble down the hill to the next lower trail, somehow got back on your bike and rode blindly to the bottom before stumbling into a restroom, not sure exactly how you got there, saw yourself in the mirror as some otherworldly bloody figure, wondered if this is one of those things you see on late night TV and pretty sure aren't real, except now it's you, and you're quickly becoming all too conscious of what just happened since your appearance startled a fellow restroom occupant whose facial expression reveals that their first instinct is not to ask you if you needed help, but rather question how likely it was this bloody figure stumbling over to the sink is actually a zombie. What happened to YouTube? So I was editing a video the other day and when I got to mixing the music I found that all of the audio was completely out of tune. I first thought it had to be a problem with the audio track or some post-processing in the editor, but after checking other music files I experienced exactly the same result. So I started listening with each ear plug and I found that at some point in the last few days the pitch of sounds processed by my left and right ears had become full semitone different. What my left ear heard is an A, my right ear heard is a G. The result was crazy. All music, in fact all pitched sounds, had a fairly intense dissonance. It was a bit, well, actually exactly like this. The marvels of TBI. This didn't happen out of nowhere. Over the last few months, I've been fighting a severe allergic reaction to pine pollen. Every night, my right sinus cavity would clog, causing the right side of my face to become inflamed. That swelling affects blood flow in the venous plexus and ophthalmic veins and causes anything from mild discomfort to almost unbearable pain. It also means I haven't been able to sleep lying down for weeks without experiencing severe headache, even blackouts. Of course, sinus infection alone doesn't cause these issues. I took the liberty of adding a pretty serious head-first MTP crash into the mix. Of course, the big mistake wasn't the crash. Hell, I blacked out instantly on hitting the ground, so I don't even know what caused it. The big mistake was riding again before I was fully healed. I actually didn't ride for about 10 days after the crash. More specifically, not until people stopped doing double takes seeing my face. Unfortunately, 10 days wasn't nearly long enough. When I got back on the trail, it took less than an hour before pain and nausea would kick in. And that's without even jumping or pushing at hard in turns. The pain would come on slowly like a tide, but within a few minutes it would be bad enough that I'd try any available painkiller, all ineffective, and then fall back on recently legalized herbal options to kill the pain. It's been another two weeks now. I did stop riding, running, and anything but stationary exercise completely. My head still feels like I have a bad sunburn all the time, and at its worst, it's like there's a spike running through my head. It is slowly getting better, but the moral is, any head injury can be worse than it seems probably a lot worse. If you fall and hit your head hard enough to bleed, stop riding, even if you don't have any immediately obvious symptoms. I know in my case, it got a lot worse simply by riding a couple times after. Take time off even if you have no symptoms. At the least, take time off riding the same stuff you crashed on. Changes to hearing, balance, and vision can be subtle and come on slowly, yet still be debilitating that one instant all your faculties are required. Watch, or have someone watch, for any change in balance, hearing, vision, or taste. Devise a few short tests like checking each eye and ear separately. You can have pretty seriously damaged hearing or eyesight, and your brain will work around it. Methodic testing ensures you're not ignoring something that should be a warning sign. Return to writing, slowly and deliberately. Don't just start jumping around again if your brain might be sloshing around in your head like wet laundry. Update, it is Wednesday, July 10th, and I started riding again gently today. I stayed mostly to easy single track. There was one crash I had, it was mild, but it was in a black diamond text section and 100% balance related. Fortunately, I did not knock my head at all and didn't have any increased headaches after that.